hate you I saw you from the distance Hate you Can we talk? Hate you I think you might Morning guys, welcome back to Dog Ventures. Now if you're new to the channel and you're interested in camper vans, travel, adventure, a little bit of supercars, a little bit of mountain biking, then this is a channel that you've been looking for. So press that subscribe button down here and press the notification bell. Thank you very much. Now today's video, today's video, a little bit of a different video today. Um, we're getting a modification done to the van. So let's get in the van, get on the way, and we'll tell you all about it. So guys, if you've been watching all of our other videos, you will see that we've just recently come back from an eight week European road trip. Now on that road trip, we went in Brooke's car um, because obviously the camper van wasn't ready to, you know, for us to travel in Europe for that long in the van. Now, what I will say is traveling in Europe has taught us a lot of things. And by that, what I mean is, there is a lot of places we want to go I mean, one of the places we went to when we was over there was Switzerland. Um, the place is absolutely beautiful. And we've already said that we definitely, next year, are already planning to go back. But we're going back in the camper van. Now, the camper van is not equipped to go abroad. Now, we've done a lot of trips and things like that um, in the UK. And, you know, the van is equipped to do things like that. But because we've got of electrics and things, if we went abroad, Excuse me, it's a totally different thing, you know, we, we definitely need electrics for various reasons and one of the reasons is obviously we're going to need some like fans and things like that. Now, we've already decided, because we're full of like an excitement to obviously, um, you know, do modifications to the van, get things done and everything, because we're definitely going next year in the van. You know, we're all sort of like fired up and everything and we want to get things done. Now, one of the things that we want to get done, um, it's a modification that we're having done today and we're actually on our way to a place called AJC Conversions in Glossop. Now I've actually had work done by them before um, and we had a window fitted um, you know, in the, in the side door um, and we've never had any issues with it whatsoever. So we're going back there today and we're actually having a fake window fitted on the driver's side. Now you're probably thinking, why would you get a fake window fitted? Why not get a real one done? What I'm gonna do after, I'm gonna show you the layout of the back of our van and basically when we are sort of like relaxing and we have it set up as what we call the lounge area, we lean against one side of the van. Now, if we had a window um, fitted onto there, it wouldn't be possible to do that. Now, me and Brooke have obviously been talking and on the driver's side, our van, um, it looks more like a panel van because obviously we've got like the strip obviously that you know doesn't have the windows in so we've been looking into it and we found out you can actually get like a fake window fitted um, to make it look like there's a window there so that's what we're going to have them fitted today now I could have like ordered the window off the internet and fitted it myself but for what it costs to get it fitted and so on it's not worth it so I'm just basically gonna go and get it fitted so we're heading down there now like I said I will show you the layout of the back of the van uh, for those that haven't seen it before and then it'll give you more of an idea what we're talking about so we're heading over to Glossop so we'll see you guys there hey guys we're at AJC conversions I'll just show you the sign there just been talking to the guy Andy that's his Porsche very very nice he's into his Porsches just as I am as well so basically guys this window here, I'm having a window fitted here so that it looks like the other side. So I'll just show you the other side. So basically, we're getting a window like that fitted on the other side, but it's gonna be a dummy one. And I'll show you why. Because basically, our rock and roll bed, when it's set out fully, what we do is, we stick a tablet on there so we can watch films and then we lean against here, so it's like a lounge area, so... But basically, for the look of the van, we want that window fitting, so we're going to get that done. Right, we're not far from Glossop Caravans here, so while we're here, we're going to go and have a nosy, so see you over there. This isn't Glossop Caravans. But we've decided to get some food before we go over there. 
Time lapse and three, two. Hot food now. How was yours? So now we're going to Glossop Caravans. Hey guys, we're at Glossop Caravans. So. And what have we just spotted in the corner? V dubs. Some V dubs, so. Let's go check them out. That's what we're going to go and check out. We don't do caravans, do we, Brooke? Nope. Why is that? Because we are camper van people. They oh, put, yeah, yeah. put you on the they put you on the spot. They then. put me on the spot. I know. <laughs> but <laughs> just up here, though, some camper vans. <laughs> right. Let's go and have a quick look inside this one. So. different. Okay, so the first thing we notice is obviously There's the, di the difference with the pop top. So now obviously in our camp van we don't have the pop top um, and it is a debate that we have all the time isn't it? Yeah. Should we, shouldn't we? I mean at the moment we're sort of like a pop top it's not for us for the money that it costs and everything it's not for us but that being said it is nice to be able to get in and have, and have some headroom. But the first thing that I notice having the pop top is the noise. It is a it's noisy. noisy because you can hear all the cars going past on the road out there. The door is open, uh, no, but it's like if you look there, obviously we're just next to the road there and having this pop Should top. Should we shut the door and see what the sounds like? Yeah. Let's do this properly. Let's give it a fair test. Let's shut the door. Oh, it's noisy. Oh, it's so noisy. <laughs> it is so noisy. And that's one thing that I've never ever considered about having a pop top, the noise, but... I do like, like the headspace. Oh, and it's leaking as well. Some water just dripped from there. Did it? Yeah, some water just dripped down there. That's another reason why I was... I do like the headspace though, the headspace The headspace, headspace is nice, but just straight away coming in here, just the noise. Yeah. Noise is a big put off, isn't it? But this layout's different. Though. Yeah, it's different. So it's like your it. kitchen's at the back, you got a little fridge. What's the space at the back is actually the counter. Do you want to just take the camera and I will go and have a bit of a... Oh, it's a toilet. Toilet. Got a little fridge. It is very noisy oh. in here. I know. Oh, and there's look, it's got a little oven. There's another little cupboard here, Brooke. A little cupboard oh, yeah. there. We could have this one put in ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah There's yeah. not much space in it, but you could get a few little bits in it. Yeah, quite Why like not? quite like the idea because we do need some like little stuff. Even if it's just like little stories. And I do like this, it's like compact and everything. I know it's only small and we would be able to manage with yeah, that. Yeah. I know there's like not a lot of room but, in it, but it's nice saying have. that, you could always have this one put behind your seat on the wall. Yeah, that looks like idea. it's got more space in than these yeah. have and you could fit probably mm. a few decent things in there this what? is why guys we like coming to a place like this and especially like when we go to like motorhome uh sorry uh camper van shows you know the caravan shows and things like that because we get like a lot of good ideas um because when you have things done with the van if you have it done it's probably like you're only ever going to do it once so you need to get it right but i can tell you now it's a no for a pop top. It's a no for a pop top because we've got a lot more cons. We're actually going to do a video about uh, pop tops, aren't we, um, in the future? So keep an eye out for that video. But something I've never considered is the noise, and hearing that now is another no no. Did you hear that? Oh, God, I just slipped on that. Right, so that's 37. This one's 40. Let's just have a, as we crawl out of here, just like show you. So that's the one we just had a look in. 37,000. Don't know what year it is. Right, so this one is 43. It's got a sliding door on that side, so let's see if there's one on the other side. There's one on the other side as well. Oh, I do like the look of that. We'll have a look at that in a minute. 
next door. Right. Oh, this one looks a lot better, doesn't it? There's a sliding door on that side, but it's a bit pointless because you can't get in or out or anything. But I suppose you could open yeah, the door while you're cooking. It's a bit strange, yeah. It's like, does the sliding door open? Yeah. Go and open it. Right. I'm going to go and get Brooke to open that sliding door on that side because, you know, we're no Volkswagen experts. We only see what we can see and we've not seen this before. Uh, I think I quite like the idea yeah. of that, to be honest. But I suppose if you're cooking and stuff... I could just yeah. hand it through. It's like, your food ready, hand it through. Because imagine if you had Thor in this, you could have that door shut. Yeah. And then you, you wouldn't be able to get out this side. You could have it open with all the air. I do actually like the idea of having the sliding door on that side as well. Um, yeah, it's quite a good idea. Again, this has got the pop top. Again, very noisy. I like that bed. You all right? Yeah, sorry, sneezing. <laughs> Is this a swivel seat? I'm not sure. Um, I know it slides forward and back, so it must swivel. Yeah, I do. Do you this know what? I do like it. It's not as noisy as the other one. Uh, let's shut this door. Let's shut this door. I'll have a shot. Right. It's not as noisy as the other one. Right. It's still noisy. It's still noisy. No, it's very noisy no, still. actually, it's very noisy. What you got to remember, though, it's only a little... It's a thin material, isn't it? So... Well, it is nicer in here. if you think you're in the middle of nowhere and you're not next to a big, busy road, it's not going to be yeah. as noisy, is it? <laughs> but I feel it's like so I'm... It's so noisy. But this feels like you've got a lot of space in it. It's a very yeah. nice... Yeah, this, it, this, nice. this it's a lot nicer than the last one we just looked at. And again, you know... And it's... I've, there's no leaks or anything. So it is nice in here. I can't actually get that open, so <laughs> I don't, oh, that's why. Yeah, story. Trying things. to pull the metal back. I know. Yeah, this one's a lot nicer. So right, let's this go. This is at what that. I do like. Oh, go on. Yeah. You can, we don't have that luxury. We did look into just open that door, bro, please. Uh, just like a bit of lighting. We did look into getting a single seat um, for our van. But it's expensive. It's very expensive. Converted by the company. We just get that window off. How crazy is that? So we've just been saying that this is a nice conversion. And it's good quality. And it's good quality. And look, it's been converted by the people that we've just dropped the van <laughs> off to go and have worked on. So listen, that just shows that we weren't lying before when we said that the reason we're going to AJC conversions is because like the they've got like a good reputation. Yeah. There's a toilet underneath the bed. Yeah. It's good bed space. We also said that if we didn't have the bed fitted, we would have had one of these done. Yeah. Because it's more storage, it looks better. Yeah. And it's that to sit on when you're driving is a lot comfier. Right. right. Let's have a look at this one because I do actually like the look of this one. They're vignettes for Switzerland and Austria that shows it's been abroad, so. Right, Brooke's just opened the door on this one, so let's have a quick look. That's actually not a pattern on the cabinets, but it makes it look like it's dirty, but it's not, it's actually a mm. pattern on it. Yeah, I don't, you probably won't be able to see that on the camera, so, right, let's get in this one. Right, so that's got that the swivel like seat. <laughs> still noisy that's that what... looks like a very good quality roof though yeah that's the mattress that pulls down and then obviously then you can sit on top lcd screen the battery and things sink oh. Fridge. it makes such a difference when the seat is able to uh, turn around there it opens the yeah. space out so much it's like if i go and sit on this one here Oh, these beds are yeah, it's comfortable in here. Um, yeah, it's quite nice in here, isn't it? Isn't it? I prefer the last one we was in. Yeah, that last one we looked in was it really good. Um, but I do like like the round edged. I do like this. This looks nice. Yeah, nice lockers as well. Bit do of you know a what? The, space though. It, well, but the thing is, it, it will come in handy just to put little bits and bats yeah. in. I, and seeing this is. Uh, I think what we'll do when we get back to that AJC, I'll take like a picture of this and I'll show them, you know, say like, 
can something like this be done with the van just to give us you know a little bit of extra storage so but like I say guys this is why we love coming to places like this because we get like ideas and stuff because we're no experts we don't know exactly what we're doing and stuff so uh, let's have a look. Uh, we could also have something like that on the back. Oh yeah, like a little. Well, do you know what? Talking of pointless space, yeah, that's. Uh, it's that for speakers. Oh yeah, they've the done it for speakers. It. So, right guys, um, there's only three uh, Volkswagen vans here, so we've got a quick look. But there is something I want to look in. Everybody wants to have a look at some uh, motor. Don't know well, you can see it through the window there, but I want to go so in there. Really it's so a Chatsworth. Chatsworth, right. Let's go and have a quick look at some others to get some ideas and stuff. But as far as the Volkswagens go, there's only three here, but really glad that we came and had a look. Oh, I like it. What's that? I like it. Oh, it smells very new in here, doesn't it? It is, it's brand new. So this is actually a 3,000 pound dearer than the VW that we looked at. Mm. And that had 10,000 miles on and was two years old. Mm. This is brand new, no miles on it, and it's only £3,000 more. Let's have a look at the difference. But it's not a Volkswagen. <laughs> We're Volkswagen people, aren't but we? Look so. at the size of the fridge. Mm. And it's got a fridge. You do get a lot for your money, got to admit that. Oh, look at all the storage space. I like this. Oh, microwave. There's a little table there. There's like drawers at the side here as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's quite a lot. Of, there's a lot in them drawers, like a lot of space in there. Let's see oh, if it's comfy. Oh, we have a bathroom. Oh, have a look at the bathroom. You know what guys, you do get a lot for your money uh, with things like this. Uh, we've had many conversations in the past, haven't we, about, you know, looking at things like this, but like I've always said, we're Volkswagen people. Um, something like this, for me personally, um, it's a little bit too big, but only from the point of view is we like to go exploring and things like that and... Huh? Eh? Not too big. Not too big. Would you be driving it? No, you would be, but this is our, this is a future, maybe. <laughs> not. <laughs> yeah, not, not, uh, not, not for something like this. No, like I said, if no, we, we've always said... size as a Volkswagen crafter. Yeah, we've always said if we was gonna upgrade, it'd be, uh, it'd be we'd go to a crafter and we'd get it all like kitted so out and stuff. So we look at this because these are like the layouts you can have in a Volkswagen crafter. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's a good point. So look at all your storage space underneath as well. Because mm. undo that. So I think this is how you. That's all your space, but this also turns into a full width bed. Yeah. So like we said, guys, uh, I'll just come over here. Whoa! Like I said, we, we like looking at things uh, like this and obviously um, we've dropped the van off at AJC Conversions to get some work done um, and obviously Glossop Caravans is just around the corner and we like coming to places like this because it gives you really, really good ideas. Um, you know, you look at things like, oh, I want this, I want that. So, right, we're just going to have a wander around, look at all the other different um, like vans and that they've got here. We're not going to look at any caravans. Um, but yeah, we're going to look at all the vans and motorhomes and stuff. Yeah, we're going to have a look at um, all the other motorhomes and vans here and stuff and uh, check them out. So catch up with you in a bit. Guys, have you seen how big this is? So I'm going to stand here. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> That's the 10 full steps, so it's crazy, it's too big, too big. If it was abroad, perfect. But let's have a look inside here. <laughs> it's like a house. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like a There's house. There's a bed up there as well. There's a bed up there. Nice view out there. Oh, it is very nice though, but oh, very I luxurious. Like the... Yes. Yeah. It's plush in what here. Is of it? I mean, Look at the size of the bathroom. So we'll link. <laughs> Show the full kitchen, microwave, this <laughs> fridge. And it's huge. Another bed. Mm. It's huge. It is huge. But like I said, it's like having a house. 
Could you imagine? So we're in Scotland, we're like, oh, let's take that lane down there and it turns into a single track lane. Screwed you, it's game over, it's game over. So, most people tow a little car, yeah. But for like what we do and everything, um, we, we I'd be very I uncomfortable like driving this. this. If you was like taking more, it has a divide here, so that turns into a separate bedroom, right? So, <laughs> just thought we'd show you that, guys, because it's huge. <laughs> Right guys, we're just leaving uh, Glossop Caravans now. We've got another um, few hours before um, we can pick the van up before it's red because obviously when they fit it, it needs to like cure a bit and everything before we drive off. So um, we're just going to go and do some shopping, some bits and bats, and then obviously when it's time, uh, we're going to go and pick the van up. So we'll catch up with you then. Right guys, we're back at AJC Conversions. Van's ready now, done and dusted. So let's show you. The van, they're doing some work on the van there. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, really impressed with that. It looks really, really smart. That's exactly how we wanted it. So, yeah, really impressed with that. Right, what we're going to do now, going to end that video there. Um, got everything done. We've just been speaking to Andy, who owns this place. Um, we've been talking about getting the electrics done and things like that. Um, so we've been working things out, been getting lots of advice off them and stuff. Really, really helpful guys. So I do recommend these guys. I'll put a link in the description below. So from me, and I'll just show you Brooke because obviously she's had to drop me off to get the van. You got anything to say, Brooke? See you in the next one. And there's Thor. She's desperate to get out and he's like, I want to be in the video, but I want to be here. Yeah, we're going to take him for a walk. Um, as soon as we get back now so right until the next one guys just have one more look yeah it's looking good bye for now